established. Why would we do that? It's the same collection of national security elites in Washington that have failed for that entire 20 years. They took what was a brilliant victory by special operations in the CIA in the first six months after 9-11 and turned it into a massive failed nation building exercise. And it's largely been like a Star Trek cosplay convention where they just sit and talk to each other and, and delude yeah. themselves into thinking they're making progress. And it's been the same nonsense, and they refuse to think about any other ways to solve this problem. And they took – Afghanistan was never really a country, and they, and they ignored that and tried to make this central government um, nirvana based in Kabul, ignoring any kind of central or local governance um, based on whatever their social experiment is. And the U.S. military replicated itself. I mean, the U.S. military, the most expensive military in the world, replicated itself in Afghanistan with a lot of expensive capability. And we've been beaten by weapons that were designed in the 1940s, carried by largely illiterate goat herders. Right. It is the, it, if there is any shame in Washington, there should be a lot of people resigning. And if not, they should be fired. This is but this they, is a but they're going to get away with it. Fail. I'm sorry to say this. I mean, it must frustrate you more than anyone since you spent a lot of your life there and thinking about Afghanistan. No people have died I, there, but like, but they're going to get away with it. The people who did this, who made these decisions, lied about it on TV. They're going to move on to the next country. To the rent. really disgusting thing is the the people that made those decisions in the comfort of their Beltway offices don't have to live with the lost limbs, lives, right. marriages, the real damage. And on top of that, I mean, you know, just today in Bagram, what used to be the U.S.'s biggest base, the prison was opened and all the Al Qaeda and ISIS prisoners were released. So the ones that were released from Guantanamo brought to Afghanistan are now free and open on the range again. OK, is the <sighs> unleashing terror. They will unleash terrorism and we will live with these consequences for years to come. When the U.S. totally failed in Vietnam, there was 30 million people died in Southeast Asia as a secondary effect of that. Trust right. me, this problem will spread to the region. The Taliban never disavowed al-Qaeda. The cosplay diplomacy that's been going on in the United States, thinking they were going to make a deal with the, with the Taliban. Look, whether it's the Trump administration, the Biden administration, the Obama administration, the same knuckleheads giving really bad advice at the national security level have gotten away with, with the same failed approach. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm the, a heavy equipment operator, if I if I tip over my crane on a construction site and kill people, I don't get a promotion in a bigger crane. I mean, wh why All is the, it that only that Toria Newland, who's like a moron and has a hand in every bad decision this country has made in the past 20 years, is like has power again? Like, how can this happen? We've gone through 18 generals in charge of Afghanistan. The only that no one of none of them resigned in disgust because they were restrained from not fighting or from, from carrying out the operations the way they wanted. So they have no excuse. None of them resigned. One was fired for embarrassing Obama, but none of them been fired okay. for failing to deliver victory. The taxpayers have done their part. Lord knows we've spent a lot of money. The yeah, rank and file soldier have done their part. They have fought well. But when you have failed leadership with and, and allowed lawyers to become what Zompolitz were, the political officers in the Soviet Union, Fighting with half measures, it makes it all a waste. And so I am truly sad for the veterans that see this go. We have lost 60,000 veterans to suicide in the global war on terror. That's more than we lost in Vietnam from despair, from seeing it done poorly. Why do I sacrifice myself? Why do I hang it out there with my buddies every day to see it pissed away by, by half-baked politicians in Washington? It's disgusting. I almost didn't want to do a segment because it was so sad and it was even sadder than I thought it was going to be. But it's Sorry. also true and, and it, it's necessary.